Let's talk about this crazy quest and how you can up your game with three new items and a new trade after completing the Great Hall Feast event located in Lawson. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> Let's dive in. Let's first talk about what these rewards are. The trait you receive is called Glutton. The Glutton trait, once upgraded, increases the use speed of consumables and relics. Remnant 2 only allows you to collect a maximum of 60 trait points, so choose how you spend them wisely. The first item you'll get is the Neckbone Necklace, which reduces the damage of status effects applied to the wearer by 50%. You also gain 25% increased damage when afflicted with status effects or blights like Suppression, Root Rot, and Curse. The next item is the Feastmaster Signet Ring, which increases your active concoction limit by 1. This is huge, as concoctions are consumable items that help increase max health, armor, movement speed, experience gain, and much more. They also last for at least an hour or longer once activated. The next reward you get from this quest is the Bone Chopper, which is a melee weapon that deals moderate damage, but allows you to charge it for multiple powerful hits, making it a beneficial weapon in both offensive and defensive environments. Now my journey started a little beneath the Beatific Palace Courtyard, with this circus dancer standing atop a pile of bones. Once you watch the performance in its entirety, you'll be rewarded with a magic quill, allowing you to open the magic glowing door right outside of the bone room. Now this door is going to lead you to the Great Hall, where there is another locked door with a key that only fits the ravenous medallion that you found earlier. I originally found the medallion right on a table in the kitchen area of the Great Hall. Now once you enter the room, you're going to be greeted by a great blob of a king telling you to eat some of the rotten food in front of him. Once consuming some of the food, you get the debuff Ravenous, which makes you constantly lose health unless you eat more. Well, let's just say food. To get the Glutton trait, you must first be playing this quest multiplayer. A teammate must go down during the Great Feast fight, and instead of being prompted to revive them, you'll be hit with the Eat Me prompt, which will then allow you to consume your teammate and receive the Glutton trait. A little note is that throughout the fight, little humanoid creatures will spawn in different locations that you can also consume to regain some health. This really might be the craziest quest of the game. But once you finish the last feast of the feast, you'll be prompted to talk to the king, who will give you the Neckbone Necklace Amulet. You'll then head towards the fireplace and crouch down to go through it. Inside, you'll find the Feastmaster's Signet Ring. Now head right after leaving the fireplace, and you'll see a dumbwaiter on the wall. If you take the first one down, it will lead you to the first of the two locked rooms in the kitchen of the Great Hall. Defeat the axe-wielding lunatic in the first room, and you can safely open the chest of materials and scrap. Now head back up the dumbwaiter and go to the right. You'll see the second dumbwaiter leading you to the last locked room in the kitchen. Here, you'll have to defeat another axe lunatic. But once that's done, you can go and pick up the bone chopper axe on the stone counter. Hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.